Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So today we are going to start from the lesson six of the book Al Arbiyatul Bayna Yadik. Saniyan secondly, Fahamul Masmu, understanding of what you hear. Atadribul Awal means first lesson. Istame listen. Summa da alamat al sahiha fil murabba il munasib. Then put the check mark in the appropriate box so here you have two options the teacher will say a word let's suppose he say the word the beep so you will put a check mark on this then in the number two you again you have two pictures you see one is the teacher another is engineer if the teacher say mother is you will put check mark here if we say the word Mohandis you will put check mark here in this way you will do this question so what do you have to do is you will go to Google classroom you can open Google classroom on your mobile and on mobile their application is necessary without their application it will not open so you will open google classroom and then you will go to homework number three because you have already done homework number one and homework number two so you will go to homework number three those students who are new they can contact me on my whatsapp so that i can add them to my google classroom okay so here some details about homework are written it may be different from the one which i have given to you so don't worry about it so just you can and uh, you will just uh, submit what i have told you in the class so here you will find the video of it at the moment i have not uploaded the video after at the end of this recording i will uh, upload the video here so you will find the video here when you will click on it it will open the video so you will watch the video and then you will choose the right answer in the next question again he is asking you to listen then put the check mark so let's suppose if we say Haza Sadiq this is a friend so you will put check mark on this one if we say Hazihi Muallima which means this is a female teacher so you will put check mark here so again you will go to google classroom so you will open the homework number three in homework number three here you will find the video you will watch it and then you will answer it atadribu salis istami summandai rakma fil murabbal munasib listen then put the number in the appropriate box so again you will listen and then you will number them according to the order so let's suppose first dialogue is about this picture so you'll write one here if the second dialogue is about this picture you will write is none here if the third dialogue is about this picture you will write salasa here in this way you will do it then he is asking you istamil as listen to the question summa dai rakma fil murabbal munasib then put the number in the appropriate box so this time again you will go to google classroom you will play the video in the video he will ask a question let's suppose the first question he asks is hal haza talib which mean is this a student so in this picture we see uh, students so you write wahid here then let's suppose he ask hal haza misri is this egyptian man so in this picture we see something about egypt so you write it's not here then let's suppose he say hal hazihi pakistaniya is this pakistani lady you will light salasa here in this way you will watch the video and you will do it according to the video so you will find the video in google classroom homework number three 
inshallah next we have al dars sabi seventh lesson so misal example talibatul ula <coughs> first female student ismi fatima my name is fatima ana misri i am egyptian ana min misr i am from egypt talibatul sani a second female student ahlan wa sahlan welcome so here you will practice how to tell your name how to tell your nationality and how to tell your country so you will practice it without looking at the example for example let's suppose you are this man so first you will tell that my name is mahmud i am turkish i am from turkey so you will hide the example like this then you will read and i recommend you to record your audio as well so you will say ismi mahmud ana turki ana min turkiya then the second person will say to you ahlan wa sahlan here you will say ismi khatija ana suriya ana min suriya ahlan wa sahlan so once you complete it you will play your audio and you will check your answers according to it according to this example then you will proceed to the next one atadrib usani tabadal al hiwara ma zameeni ka kama fil misal so here he says haza akhi huwa mudarris this is my brother he is a teacher so not one thing akh mean brother akh mean brother and akhi mean my brother so in the sentences you will use ukhti you will add ya to each of them you need to add ya to each of them because ukht means sister and ukhti my sister sadiq mean friend sadiqi my friend sadiqa female friend sadiqati my female friend akh mean brother and akhi my brother so in this way you will do it <coughs> so you will make the sentence haza akhi this is my brother who a mudarris he is a teacher then second person will say ahlan wa sahlan in the next one you will say this is my sister so for my sister you will say ukhti hazihi ukhti for female we say hazihi for male we say haza for female we say hazihi hazihi ukhti hiya tabiba this is my sister she is a doctor <coughs> then you will say haza sadiqi huwa muhandis this is this is my friend he is an engineer so in this way you will record your audio and then you will listen it to check your answers Okay hold for a minute I will be back in a minute
Assalamu alaikum, I am back now. So we will here. Here we will live open up problem. So at the Drivusal is start exercise again. We have the similar dialogue that you need to practice. So let's suppose you are meeting this man. So the first thing that you will say to him is Assalamu Alaikum which means peace be upon you. Basically you are greeting him. He will reply the same Wa Alaikum Salaam and peace be upon you too. Then you will ask him about his condition. So you will say to him Kaifa Haluka How are you? He will reply Bi Khairin Walhamdulillah I am fine and thanks to Allah. Then you will ask him, Majin Siyatuka, what is your nationality? He will say, Ana Pakistani, I am welcome. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ana Pakistani, I am Pakistani. And then you will welcome him. Ahlan wa sahlan. So basically, you are asking him three questions. You are asking him three, uh, three things. First, you are greeting him. Then you are asking him, How are you and what is your nationality? So, so I recommend you to write these three things in English, not in Arabic, with yourself. Then hide the example and then practice this audio and record your audio. So you will, let's suppose you are meeting this lady. So first thing you will say to her is Assalamu Alaikum and sh then reply on her behalf as well. So you will say Wa Alaikum Assalam. Then you will say to this lady, how are you? That's the question that you have written. So you will say, Kaifa ha luki. So to male we say ha luka and to female we say ha luki. Kaifa ha luki. He will say, Ana bikhairin walhamdulillah. Then you will ask her, Ma jin tuki, what is your nationality? And she will reply, Ana turkiya. Then you will welcome her. Then you will start with this man. You will say to him, Assalamu alaikum. He will reply, Wa alaikum wassalam. You will ask him, Kaifa haluka? How are you? He is male, so we are saying haluka. He will say, Bi khairin walhamdulillah. Then you will say to him, Ma jin siyatuka? What is your nationality? And he will reply, Ana suri. And then you will say to him, Ahlan wa sahlan. So just remember the difference between male and female. Record your audio and then check it according to this example. Atadribu Rabi fourth exercise the Badalil Hivara Mazamilika Kamafil Misal. Again, let's suppose you are meeting a man whose name is Badr and he is from Turkey. So you will ask him, Masmuka, what is your name? He will reply, Ismi Badr, my name is Badr. Then you will ask him, Min Ainanta, where are you from? He will say, Ana Min Turkiya, I am from Turkey. Then you will ask him about his nationality. Hal Anta Turki, are you Turkish? Naam, Ana Turki, yes, I am Turkish. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome. So in this way you can practice this dialogue. So here is a mistake here. We have the map of Pakistan but by mistake they have printed the map of Turkey. So you will hide the example and you will ask him three questions. Name, where are you from and are you then you will replace the nationality word here. So you, I, you better write these three questions in English then you will practice them so you will ask him what is your name Masmuka he will say Ismi Iqbal then you will ask him are you from Pakistan Hal Anta Min Pakistan he will say Naam Ana Min Pakistan or in this way he is using the other question so you will ask him where are you from sorry so you will ask him where are you from so he will say ana min pakistan 
then he will ask him are you pakistani he will say na mana pakistani then you will say to him alan wasanan so yes same thing here so first question is what is your name so you will ask him masmuka he will reply ismi anwar then you ask him where are you from min aina anta he will reply ana min suriya then you will ask him hal are you syrian hal anta suri he will say naam ana suri yes i am syrian then you will welcome him okay so in this way you will do it you will record your audio after completing it the whole exercise you will check your answers according to this example then you can skip this question at tadrib sadis ajib answer here questions are written you will answer them according to yourself these questions are written for male in case you are female so you if you are male you will answer them directly you will write your answers here but if you are female first you need to change them like masmuka is for male so you write kasra here which mean masmuki what is your aim for female kaifa haluka is for male so you write kasra here kaifa haluki minaina anta is for male you write kasra here minaina anti majinsiyatuka for male you write kasra majinsiyatuki hal anti pakistaniya you write right ta marbuta or you can just write pakistaniya here pakistaniya are you pakistani then hal anti min suriya so in this way first you will change this question then you will answer them according to yourself if you are female student next we have alqira are reading so here he wants to you to read these words so i recommend you to write their meanings and i recommend you to submit it to google classroom you will not find this in the here in homework number 3 here some pages are mentioned here so you will not find it here but still i recommend you to submit it here so write your meanings on this and then submit them ana minai anta you for male anti you female ho wa hi he or she talib male student that is teacher tabiba doctor of course female which has tamar buta mohandisa mean engineer haza mean this haza he mean this this question is useless question no need no need for this one as well again unzur wastami wakra look at listen and read again i recommend you to translate these sentences and submit them in google classroom you will not find it it in homework number 3 but still i recommend you to submit it in homework number 3 so huwa talib he is a student he ya taliba she is a student huwa mudarris he is a teacher he ya mudarrisa she is a teacher ana turki i am turkish ana min suriya i am syrian i am from syria ana mohandis i am engineer ana min pakistan i am from pakistan he am misriya he is egyptian here he is telling you that we write from right side to left side you can practice this if you want you just need to move your pen pass your pen on these lines again he is want want you to <coughs> practice this here is telling you that in arabic we write from top to bottom so you can practice it again you will just move your pen pass your pen on this dots <coughs> here is telling you how to write so whenever you write this just remember that this alif must touch the line but it must not go below the line then this one dal also must touch the line but it must not go below the line same thing for zal it will touch the line but it will not go below the line so same thing in this word ana
it will touch the line but it will not go below the line seen and hamza will touch the line but they will not go below the line but lam half of it uh, bottom part of it will be below the line like this dar dal and alif will touch the line but they will not go below the line but ra half of it will be above the line and half of it below the line so in mudarris meem and dal will touch the line but they will not go below the line ra just like this half above the line half below the line seen this part of seen will touch the line but it will not go below the line and this part of seen will be below the line like this so you see a first part is touching the line but not going below the line but this part is below the line same thing for wow mouth will be above and rest part will be below then alif ha and dal will touch the line but they will not go below the line then you will practice these one again ra za wow their half part will be above the line and half part will be below the line so you practice these writing you can if you want or you can ignore them next we have al wahdatu saniya so here one we have one more very important thing to do which is on probably page number 255 so this is the vocabulary of whatever you have learnt in the first unit of the book so i this is your homework that you must do very important thing because to learn arabic the first thing we need is vocabulary so now you will write these words we start from isnan and until here So you will write these words on your notebook, and then you will write their meanings. You can use dictionary if you forget the meaning of anything, or you can ask me as well. So in case of when it comes about dictionary, the dictionary I recommend is known as Dict Box. Dict Arabic. So, Dictbox has many dictionaries. Download this one, which is known as Dictbox Arabic. It is available in Google Play Store, and it is available in i Store as well. iOS. Yes. So this is the name of dictionary, Arabic dictionary and translator. It is known as Dictbox. This is for those who have Google Play Store in their mobile. They can install it on your their mobile. And this is for those who have iPhone. So if you have iPhone, you can download it as well. So this is a dictionary that I recommend. In this dictionary, there is a feature which is known as. word reminder i highly recommend you to yes this i highly recommend you to enable that word reminder function which will help you in memorizing the word then the other dictionary which uh, you can use but first dictionary i recommend is arabic dict then you can use google translate google translate uh, then the second dictionary that i recommend is google translate google translate also acts as a dictionary as well it can translate the whole sentence or it can just give you the meaning of word so if you don't know the meaning of any word just type it here and he will tell you its meaning in detail they have added a very good dictionary in it as well So Google Translate is also a good dictionary. So I hope all of you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any question, any doubt, you can ask me. So see you in the next lesson. Ma salama.